Do the clothes we wear say something about how we see ourselves and the world? Could it be that to understand trends, you have to be an expert in the art of communication? To get some answers, I met up with Christian Samuel. Zaki hadn't been sure what to wear that morning. One of the easiest ways to put strain on a relationship is to ask, how do I look in this? Even the most honest answer can come across as insincere or catty. So I'm about to get some expert help. And no, I don't mean from a therapist. I'm about to meet one of Johannesburg's trendiest men, Christian Samuel. Fashionistas have come to know Christian as one half of the trend men, with Alan Foley as his partner in style. They offer cutting edge advice and analysis on where the fashion world is heading. But as a makeup artist and a qualified speech language pathologist, Christian is also fascinated by all forms of communication. Hello! Hi, how are you? I'm so good! So good to see you! So lovely to see you! Well, as one does, we have to start at the beginning. Tell us about Christian Samuel. As you know, I'm biracial, so being half Indian, half coloured, there are all of these um, kind of different forces that have impacted upon my life in many ways. As a child growing up, I was exposed to different religions, different cultural backgrounds, and with that also came different kind of style influences. And in many senses, I think it's made me quite well-rounded, and it's kind of lended itself to being quite open to new ideas. And when did your interest in fashion develop? I think it's always been there. I mean, I look at pictures of myself when I was a child and I was always really preoccupied with what I wore and it would always be me trying to choose a certain outfit, um, you know, so I would wear like a little tuxedo and that kind of thing. So, and then I would choose my sister's outfits as well. How would you define your own style? You know, I think of myself as quite funky and urban, but I like to blend classical elements into that. Well, speaking about your own style, I'd love it if you could give me some input on mine. I'd absolutely love to. Amazing, so where are we off to? Um, well, I think let's go to Egality, which is just down oh, the road. The corner. I awesome. think we'll find some amazing stuff there. Thank you, Fantastic. great. Fantastic. Christian enjoys exploring new territory and discovering aesthetic appeal off the beaten track, which complements Alan's more classical approach. Alan! <laughs> hello, hello. Tell us about the professional partnership that is Alan and Christian. Well, I think it's basically just a mutual love of fashion. Um, when we met many years ago, it took actually a bit of a while for us to realize that we had this passion and um, we just decided that we sort of really liked what we had to say to each other and it's not that we always agree on everything. In fact, we quite like to beg to differ sometimes. <laughs> we debate a lot about fashion. What is the secret to your partnership's success? Alan likes to play by the rules, so mm. he knows all of the classical rules. He'll tell you if your jacket length is incorrect, he'll tell you all of that kind of stuff, whereas I tend to be more trendy, more urban. So I think we should style you in a few items. We've put some things aside for you. We'll see what looks good and what doesn't. Shall Great. we do that? Yeah, let's go. This look is quite big at the moment, that slightly androgynous look, but I think with a bit of a pop of a colour, it might help. Oh, there we go. <laughs> let's have a look. Let's see. Well, let's add some elements to it. And let's try completing it with a handbag. You see, I quite like the handbag, because the handbag's got quite a nice sort of pastel feminine thing going, and it quite contrasts nicely with those, what we would term as very masculine shoes. I think these pants look fantastic on I you. I love these. Love those on you. Is this something you would wear? I would definitely wear something like this. I mean, I'm more of a girly girl with dreams and stuff, but mm -hmm. this, I love the pants. Christian, how does one stay fashionable and trendy while still maintaining your individuality and personal brand? Well, I think the thing is, is that you mustn't be a slave to the trends. So ultimately, you need to know what's trendy, you need to know what's hot and happening, but you always need to dress according to your own personality. And how do you match a trend to your body type? Well, I think that's always a difficult one. I think, A, you need to be realistic about what your body type is. So you need to know, am I an apple, am I a pear in terms of your body shape? So once you know what your body type is, you can say, this works for me, this doesn't. And not all trends work for all people. So I think it's important just to keep that in mind. Mind. Speaking about trends, shall I go try on my second trend? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh wow. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I love this. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell me about the look. What we really want to do with this look is blend the classical elements with some of the trendy elements. I think this works so well on you because it really suits your body shape. Um, it is rather figure hugging, but I think that really works on you. And it has a bit of asymmetry to it. And then we decided to accessorize it with some really trendy accessories, um, a pop of color in the belt, those earrings which really add dimension and texture to the look. 
and then it's all about the details so the attention to detail is really important like with the shoes so I think all in all this look really works for you I think it looks fantastic on you what do you do when you fall in love with a look that you don't want to discard next season if you've fallen in love with something you might just need to tweak it and update it but I definitely think if something works for you you can keep it season after season is it possible to do fashion on a budget oh absolutely I mean that's one of the things we do we a lot of people think that we have this vast wardrobe of designer clothes when actually in fact we don't we actually shop at chain stores sometimes and we even shop in the kiddies and the ladies department because it's what fits and what is next for Christian Samuel and the trend men well I think it's just bigger and better from yeah we're gonna focus on building the brand more we didn't think we'd come this far in such a short space of time so it's just you know great excitement in the future thank you so much for spending time with us and for styling me it's been an absolute pleasure